No, I did not take the nap. The nap took me off the bed and out the window and far beyond the sea to a land where sleepyheads read only comic books and lock their naps in iron safe so that they can't get took. As soon as I came to that land, I also came to grief. The people pointed at me shouting, where's the nap, you thief? They took me to the courthouse. The judge put on his cap. He said, my child, you are on trial for taking someone's nap. Yes, all you selfish children, you think just of yourselves. You don't care if the nap you took belongs to someone else. It happens that the nap you took without a thought or care belongs to Bonnie Bolingbroke who's sitting crying there. She hasn't slept in quite some time to see her eyelids flap. She's tired, drowsy, cranky too because guess who took her nap? The jury cried, you're guilty, yes, you're guilty as can be, but just return the nap you took and we might set you free. I did not take the nap, I cried. I gave my solemn bow and if I took it by mistake, I do not have it now. Oh, fiddle fudge, cried out the judge. Your record looks quite sour. Last night I see you stole a kiss. Last week you took a shower. You beat your eggs. You whipped your cream. At work you punched the clock. You've even killed an hour or two. We've heard you darn your socks. We know you shot a basketball. You stole in second base. And we can see you're guilty from the sleep that's on your face. Go lie down on your blanket now and cry your guilty tears. I sentence you to one long nap for 90 million years. And when the other children see this nap that never ends, no one will ever dare to take somebody's nap again.